Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to compute capital gains tax on real estate. When you sell real estate, you may owe capital gains tax on the profit. First, determine your cost basis in the property. The cost basis is generally the purchase price plus any improvements made. Subtract the cost basis from the selling price to find your capital gain. If the result is positive, you have a gain. If negative, you have a loss. Next, consider the holding period of the property. If you owned the property for more than one year, it is a long-term capital gain. Long-term gains are usually taxed at lower rates than short-term gains. Short-term gains for property held for one year or less are taxed at ordinary income tax rates. And uncertain expenses can reduce your taxable capital gain. These include closing costs, legal fees, and real estate agent commissions. Deduct these expenses from your capital gain to lower your tax liability. Denen specific exclusions may apply. For example, if the property was your primary residence, you might exclude up to $250,000 of the gain from your taxable income, or $500,000 for married couples filing jointly. You must have lived in the home for at least two of the five years before the sale to qualify. Den and consult IRS publication, 523 for detailed information on selling your home. Always seek advice from a tax professional to ensure compliance with current tax laws. On. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.